Hi, John here. Today it's um, Tuesday the 13th of uh, February 2018. Um, the latest catch up on where we are standing at the moment. I'm here on the farm, Morris Baker's farm. Uh, a little longer yet. I'm just going through um, schooling him up on computers. One for Marion and one for him, his wife Marion. She's got the hang of it but his finger gets in the way, uh, but he'll get there. Uh, just a bit of patience. Uh, and I'm just <coughs> keeping in the spirit of things with uh, this flag, the Declaration of War flag, I call it, which is the 1834 King William IV flag uh, that's uh, been touted as being two sides of the story of the flag. I'm going to just explain that so it's very clear in your minds what the British gave it to us for, or uh, rather our ancestors. Most Maori think that it was given for Maori. That's an interpretation of their whakapapa, which has been fashioned around an European system of Crown Government from Australia and New South Wales and New Zealand Government, Queen Victoria and Queen Elizabeth, monarch. <coughs> so as far as they're concerned, King William IV gave that flag to the chiefs then on the 20th of March 1834. The flag was created as the founding of New Zealand, fixed by the British, with chiefs, 13 of them. It so happens that only one can sign a contract, which is what that flag is, at that point in time. Anything else is third party to a two-party contract between the king that gave it, King William IV, and a chief, one chief that no one has named yet. They just say a broad brush approach to a bunch of 13 chiefs. They can't identify which one signed the contract with the British King. They only can identify a contract with the Queen in a treaty and a Declaration of Independence. That is it. That is it. As far as the Whakamininga is concerned, of 13 chiefs that signed an agreement while the King William IV was in existence. So that, just before he died, in, in 1837, A uh, vendetta against him was set up so that the reigning monarch after that, <coughs> King George V, something went wrong with him in his reign and then it went to King George VI. Something went wrong with that as well before Queen Elizabeth took a hold of it. And that's when it all began with her and the Rothschild banks. Now, I'll just tell you the true story of the Whakamininga. The Whakamininga was fashioned around a Maori tribe called Iwi. And the Iwi is an invention of a Crown Corporation company, private, of Queen Elizabeth II and Māori. The Māori created a myth whakapapa out of Ngāti Whātua tribe that based its whakapapa on myth, genealogy and borrowed ancestors and chiefs. 
In other words, they formed a four tribe alliance of the main tribes Altair, Te Arawa, Waikato, and Napui. Those were the only four tribes in the Whakamimina of 1835. 1834, 13 chiefs. So it seems that they formed a group to apply to Britain for a flag from King William IV. So that flag happened. The flag came across through Australia government and that monarch into New Zealand. However, Straight after that, in 1839, another group of chiefs called the Whakaminia of 38 chiefs, including Hauraki and Ngātipo and a few other tribes, joined in to make another part of the flag in commercial contracts. But no one has identified who signed the contract with King William IV. None of anyone has any contract that I know with all the titles I'm holding of the Confederation of Chiefs and the Whakamenia. I have all that information on behalf of Mohi Te Māti Manukau IV who created the Confederation of Chiefs of Aotearoa New Tirini. He created the four tribes and his ancestors, and the Rogans, and the Ratna, created that Whakamenia for tribes. Call it what you like, but it is a split image of ISIS, America, US federal state government. The flag is a federal state government flag. It's not being used for that at all by the Whakamenia because the Whakamenia has no government which is supposed to be running under that flag but they haven't identified who the chief is they just put a broad brush right over I'm talking about Whakamenia ancestors and their descendants who are in Waitangi closing up to the Labour government and the Navy, Royal New Zealand Navy now, this is the irony of the flag, the eight-point star, and the red cross. No one has identified the flag for a starter. They're just saying it's a navy flag. That's what at least Willie Pater is saying. It's a navy flag. That's all he can say. It's more than a navy flag. I'm telling a story completely what that flag means to a genuine chief of contracts. Right, that's the Whakameninga sea flag. That's what Willie says. The Whakameninga is a sea flag on the sea. So what are they doing on land? And what are they doing playing around with the flag on the British ship on the treaty grounds of Waitangi? But I have encouraged those chiefs in the Whakamenia to form a native magistrate court because that's the ship that's standing on Waitangi treaty grounds with my carvings from my ancestors in that marae. Go back to the beginning of the ship. Where did the ship come from? And Willie's saying from the sea, but no further. He's not saying from Britain or anything else. He's just saying the 21 gun salute was for the Whakameninga. That's fine. So define the Whakameninga. I haven't heard them say any of that yet, other than to say that's their ancestors. And so we'll leave that one right there. 
Now, the other side of the flag, which is a dry land flag, is this contract of a whakaminia, another whakaminia, where it has the Manukau chiefs in it, just the Manukau chiefs. Te Rawaikato Wharehere in Manukau from Manukauti, Cambridge to Cambridge, England, and Rewhere for Manukau. Those two Moriori chiefs have a contract with King William IV and King George IV, the two brothers. There. Now, that's telling you something of a contract with that flag. That's what I'm saying. That flag was given to them for their contract because it got signed in England. There's no fucker meaning here who signed a contract in England. It was signed over here in a treaty agreement of the 1840 and 1835 contract. So they have to stay on the Queen side of the contract. Queen, Rothschild Banks and debt. That's Willie's business. The Queen Victoria Trust came out of King William IV on this side. The King, the Queen, the King, the Queen. Okay? The Whakaminia with the 13 chiefs they're playing around with the 1834 flag now. They were playing around with the 1835 for a long time. Now, all of a sudden, they've gone to 1834. Okay, that's fine. But, who is the chief that signed the contract in the 1834 agreement that they're playing around with now? You see? So I'm here with those two Manukau's who signed the contract with King George IV in 1823. So I'm going back further than what these guys on this side are doing. With the contract, they can't touch the king's contract. They're playing around the king's flag, but they can't touch his contract because they're stuck in a queen's contract. They can't get out of it. That's why they're talking to the Labour government, which is liable to the Maori, on this side of where the money's gone. That's their problem. Meanwhile, on this side, the king's side of that same flag owns that flag, and these chiefs own that flag, not these chiefs that can't identify it. They can't borrow these documents. They can't borrow the documents I put together. That's there for public notification and fact-cited evidence of what we do with that flag. What the government of New Zealand do with this flag and the Navy of New Zealand do with the flag has nothing to do with the British flag that that flag is. Nothing to do with them and what they're doing with it. That's become treason, acting <coughs> as threats against these two chiefs. And put on top of that Hori Tikuri that they're playing around with over here as Ngāti Kuri. Instead of Hori Tikuri, they've got Ngāti. The whole Ngāti of everything Ngāti has been created by the Crown Corporation. Private companies. For the private companies, not for Māori. Māori are not entitled to anything because they were left out of the contract and the Māori patents and copyrights belongs to the Queen and their corporates. doesn't belong to Māori. So that's what I'm saying. Legally, Māori have nothing they can base their titles to because they don't own them. They're supposed to start their own Whakaminia government and they didn't. We have a government on this side. It's a federal state government under Moai Crown, King William IV Trust. The king himself is what I'm about. With his flag, he gave these chiefs over here for a contract that started in 1823 between King George IV and Te Rawaikato Wharehere That contract went from 1823 from that king, George IV, to King William IV, the brother. That commercial contract is locked as private 
contract, commercially nobody's business to inquire into or tamper with. There's third parties here tampering with their flag. The Whakameninga here is tampering with the flag because the chiefs didn't sign the flag to the king. They signed it to the queen, which is not a king's title. You can't assume a title without the contract. You can't assume a king's wealth and inheritance because the Queen Victoria Trust is what's meant to go to the Whakaminia, but the Whakaminia is on this side. The 13 Chiefs is on this side of the contract, not this side. This side has flipped it and stolen the 13 Chiefs Whakapapa and stuck it into their Iwi Maori Crown corporations. You get that? That's the difference. That's what I want to tell you today. That I'm legalizing the King's documents and speak for the King. I'm not speaking for the Queen. The Whakaminia and the Maori Iwi and the Maori themselves are speaking for the Queen. And that's it. They have to stay there and wither it out and try and claim their money back from the Queen through her agent, the Governor-General. So, they've got a big job to do. They may get it, they may not get it. In my books of contracts and experience in real estate, Maori have got no show of proving who they are in a British system. It doesn't compute. There's nothing of Maori in British. You go to the World Court, you go to the United Nations, sure, you can go there because that's where the Maori went with Queen Victoria and the fraud. Follow the fraud around with the Queen and that's where you end up. Follow the King and you go straight to Westminster without going through the United Nations and the World Court. That's the side. They have to battle it and spend money to get no money. Okay, so that's how that works. Now I'm going to say this to Willie. I opened up the Waitangi Marae Native Magistrate Court and Willie was there, Willie Peter, Hohepa Epiha and Kingi Taurua. Those three chiefs were there with me and so was Paul Tibane, police constable from Kirikiri Police Station was there, just in case there was trouble, but he was witness to what went on there. And so was the Maori government and Georgie Job and Alfred Mitchell and a few others, Painter, uh, and um, Jamie Patrick was there with me for the Patrick family, the eight point star Patrick name on St. Patrick's on the flag with her being a Patrick, was there with me. New Zealand Patrick, okay, that's, that's the Patrick name. Has more right to that flag than any of those Maoris. That's what I'm saying. The name on any document has the say. Anyway, I'm there for the King. So Willie, you were there to witness an event of a British ship on dry land with a dry land flag. And that's why there's no bar or dock in that marine that the New Zealand government plays around with it because they have full reign as long as that flag's flying on that mast. They have made all the money in the world here that don't belong to them. It belongs to the king. And so I'm holding everyone accountable with the pound note from King Tafio, the Waikato chief in Tira Waikato, Whare Herehere Manukau's Bunga Bunga Hapu Marae in Pohara Arapuni. Pohara Bunga Bunga Marae is where the title of this whole country resides in that rock 
memorial to Maunga Tauturi Mountain. You got it? Whole of the country in a memorial stone. A big stone right beside the marae. And so that's the authority to Waikato. That's the Waikato name. Had come from an ancestor called Waikato. Waikato chief comes from Waikato, not Napoli. He don't come from Napoli. He comes from Waikato and the Cambridge University. That's locked to that name, Manukau and Waikato. Okay, so that's what I'm holding fast to, is for anybody to refute what I'm saying. My word against yours. Anyone cares to stand in front of me and those chiefs, Te Rewaikato Wharehirehire Manukau and Rewharehwa Manukau and Hori Tukuri, those three chiefs and those three kings, King George IV, King William IV, and King William III. That's the flag of contracts, commercial contracts, and nothing less. Okay, that's how it works, nothing less. I'm just going to check who's singing on my side. Come on, um, hold on a second, I'll just see who's there. Oh, it's my girlfriend in Philippines. I'll just say hello so that I can let her know I'm still here. She wants me to go to Philippines and get out of here. Well, not necessarily get out of here, but Hurry up. Oh, here we go. The phone is ringing. Hello? Kira? No, he's gone out. Leave him alone. Okay, Maris. I'll, I'll do that. Okay. Okay, Mr. Lobo is up. I'm okay. Ah, oh, shucks, it didn't go. My computer's... I always don't like typing and find I type for nothing. And it hasn't clicked in. There we go. Takes a little while to click in. I'll be with you in a minute. Oh, that didn't go. It didn't really register. Okay, let's see if the internet might have knocked itself out. We have internet troubles up in the north, and uh, I just said it knocked itself off. So I have to reconnect it back up again. Well, we said. Spark is connected and then the D-Link wireless unhooked itself. So, I just have to... The internet works really well when he wants to. He's got a mind of his own. Here it goes. Oops. That's my video. I'm uploading a lot of videos, 75 of them, today. Uh, and I just want to... Hmm. Hmm. Jamie's on now. So Jamie's my friend in Fakatani. I'll go down there and pick my car up. 
Jamie. I'll just make a chicken. There it goes. The internet should kick in. There we go, switch on there. So I'll try and open up the internet is on. And I've just got to go back and pick up where I was. Where's my girlfriend is missing? Come on. This computer was going flat out but I've been off it. Hi there, John Ronoa here, Sunday 3rd of April 2011. Uh, yes, I just want to talk about um, uh, our Moai Total Energy project. 2011? I have to keep these. Right, that's her. Okay, I've got Jamie on the line and her. I'll just say hello to Jamie. Uh, hi, Jamie. Jamie. Patrick. She's a Patrick. She must have heard me talking. Um, I'm eating good food, getting fat. Hi Jamie, I'm still here at Marcus, eating good food and getting fat. Yeah, oh she's here, she's, she, she likes it, what I just said. Uh, uh, I'm training. Training. Will be touch, touch with my lawyer tomorrow. I'm saying, uh, destruction.
75 videos from YouTube. Twenty four Saturday Structure Day twenty fourth Okay, so we've got videos going online, 75 of them. I've just got to pick up the ones that I want to upload. I'll turn my light out now. Okay, there's one. So, the latest is this. Willie Peter. Um, I've, I've gone along with them to support him and... Um, um, Hohepa Ipiha. I got the time for Hohepa Ipiha and his son that did a beautiful commentary on Easter Island and the Maui statues. I appreciate that because I've got it on my site on the history. I'll be going there to complete that with uh, the tribe there, my people, the one or people there, and um, um, one of the uh, Santi, um, Santi, that's his name, Santi, um, I forget what his surname is, I'll, I'll think of it, um, but him, um, um, I'll be going to see him and we will hook up our whakapapa to escape on our land blocks, to Tipito there, to Tipito on East Island, so that's that. Anyway, back to the flag. Um, so, with um, Willie, you've got a C flag. That means you're in Admiralty with the Royal Navy, with the New Zealand Navy, not the Royal Navy. With the New Zealand Navy, it's not the same as the British Navy. I'm going to answer my friend, um, Minis. Here, also, Sinclair. Yeah. It just went off when you came off.
Okay, so that's Jamie. Seeing you on Monday, okay. Um, with Jamie, um, Patrick, um, there's every possibility that she'll be still travelling with me um, to uh, Britain and around the Pacific to get an overview of the role she will be playing. Uh, carrying the Patrick name for one thing, but with economics and um, business. She's interested in the tidal turbines uh, project, so that's something that interests her and the sea. I um, feel okay today. Okay, I feel fine. Okay. Um, I am sending off my letter. My It's, it's playing up again. Um, our video is still running, so um, I'll just carry on talking while this uh, sorts itself out. Terrible, terrible. It's, it's still playing up, and <sighs> man, I'll get I'll get better equipment that will not have problems. We'll have our own control over the internet, not this rubbish. It's hopeless. Because because we would not would not No, no, he's not back yet. Uh, no, no, no. I'll let you know as soon as he gets back. He's going to see somebody up the road. Okay, bye. Law. Let me take your time. Okay, double pain. Oh, he's got something. Okay. 
Okay, um, so my name is Apostle. Um, before the film runs out, I'm getting distracted here by my girlfriend and um, others who want to talk to me. Um, I've got a big job to do and I really, really should be focusing on important issues that matter in the world than my own personal things. Sometimes it's too much to anyone who wouldn't understand anything about politics. Okay, that's that. I'll just finish on. I am an important in government and NATO indigenous countries who rely on me to tell them. Okay, our film is still running. I'm just telling my girlfriend a couple of things or two. I'll get to her, but I, I can't just leave up and go. I've got things to do. She wants me there now. So I'm saying I have to finish my job. Uh, anyway, back to Willie Painter. Willie uh, and Hohepa, I applaud you. Two people, uh, not say much with Kingy, has disappointed me by telling me that his people have lost confidence in me. I don't know which people he's talking about, but there was a little bit of trouble on Titi Marai. I could have expected that because of what the way they treated me. His people have treated me. Uh, there is two sides of Ngāpui and the dark side came out on his side, on Titi Marai, and police were involved. That's not a very good sign. It's always been like that. The trouble has always been there. It still is there. 
not going to go away, so they're going around the problem. And I don't blame anyone going around the problem there because they never gave me a good go. They never listened to me, not at all. So I just carry on because I know how it all works. And that Marae, I opened up as a native magistrate court and Bundy and Hiruini, um took stock of that Marae as his authority, he said the authority was there and not Tahike. I'm afraid I'm here in Tahike. I'll, I'll live here. I'm staying here at Lobos as long as I want on this land. Long as I want. Uh, and in Tahike where the history of this country started from. And it started right here in Tahike. And I'm going to tell the whole story, the truth and nothing but the truth. So help me God. It's correct. Right to the letter. So I can type all day and chat all day and not do any work. Uh, so with the flag, one more time, the Whakameninga flag is not a legal flag. Sorry to say, Willie, the Whakameninga flag that you're flying is not legal. It's only legal if it's used for contracts and you haven't got a contract with Britain. It's only good to Britain, not to New Zealand government. It wasn't for New Zealand government. So someone's using it, will he, for their own financial investment interests against my interests and the chiefs I represent and the kings I represent, the three kings and the three chiefs. The three kings being for that flag of contracts, commercial, trading, bank, financial investment interests, contract, will he? Private, nobody's business. The three kings, King William the Third, King George the Fourth, and King William the Fourth, emperors, and the three chiefs, Terawakato, Farehere Manukau, Referef Manukau, and Hori Tikuru. That's it. That's it. That's the Whakameninga I'm talking about that contract. So if you're flying the flag for other reasons, then it has no legal effect. I'm saying that. It has no legal effect unless the government of New Zealand is playing around with it illegally. It's not their contract. Your third party will be your third party to a two party contract between the chiefs I represent and Mangatoteri Mountain and that Rock Memorial to Mangatauteri Mountain and Te Rawaikato Wharehere Manukau Moriori Chief and his Punga Punga Marae right beside that rock really? that's a British title that I'm holding in this house this Ratna Church house and it's cut up in the room hmm? it's original around the world flag is here it's not in Ratna down there. That's a commercial private contract with Ratna and the government of New Zealand. They make deals with each other and the government goes to them to get some sort of authority 
it ain't this flag's authority. If anybody's tampering around with a bully, they're going to get a pound note on their head, a bounty of a trillion pounds on each one's head right now at this moment, unless they have a British title indeed. Morris has his deed titles right here. That's why I'm here, will he? I'm here to administer deed titles right in this little house that's been improvised and is livable, practical and legal. Will he? This house is legal, that's why I'm in it. My ancestors were judges and lawyers in Northern Ireland, Belfast, the eight point star of St. Patrick. That's my family, Willie, on that flag. The Patrick family, the Rogan family, that did the titles, and the Cosgrove lawyers in my family are on that flag with the red cross of King George IV and King William IV. Dutchman, German. Got that? That flag is flying on Morris's car and his truck that I bought up from Barmersonorf. Legally flying that flag for the right reasons to this land block in Taheke, native Marae. Titles. Hori Tikuri. Not Nati Kuri. Hori Tikuri. The man. The and his land. Now you have to show me a title under your flag, Willie, and how do you do it from the sea? If you're on the sea flag, then what are you doing on the land? Who gave you authority to be on this land? Here's Morris is back now. So I can end this video because it's long. Maybe you had not good connection. Yes, it's working now. So that's all for now. We will catch you later and have a nice day because I am enjoying myself here and eating nice food, oysters, fish, raw fish, and added fish. Marianne's a nice cook. I just sit around waiting for her to cook. Cooks for the cat. No cat here today. I'm free. Thank you very much. Bye for now. Have a nice day.